Hello Aries, and welcome to Blunt Sagi Tarot. My name is Robin, and today we're going to be doing your love reading. We're going to find out what's going on with you, what you're feeling, what's happening for the next couple of weeks. We'll find out where the situation stands in about a month from time. We'll get some advice from the Oracle cards, and at the very end, Aries, we will do a yes or no question. So if you have one of those, stick around, we'll get the answer for you. Please keep in mind as well, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate, but if you're guided here, I sure hope there's a message here and it helps you along your journey called life. And I want to say thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. I genuinely appreciate it. I hope you like the reading. So let's get to it. So I see in the world flip here. There it is. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, Death and Rebirth in Reverse. We have the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, the Eight of Cups, the World, the Six of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. And on the bottom right now, we have the Two of Pentacles here, Aries. So you're trying to make a choice here. You're trying to create balance in your life. You're trying to make an important decision. We see that here in the present or near future. Keep in mind as well, Tarot's timeless. So I'm going to read this as coming up in the near future, but take the how it resonates with you. It might be the past, might be the present, might be the future. Um, and when you're guided to see this, that's when the message is for. So yeah, look at, we see the two of wands and the two of pentacles here right off. So we got a lot of choices here. You're making some choices. You're trying to get out of your head. So you've been in some kind of self-imposed prison where there's a lot of, or there's, or could be also be a lot of people in your ear kind of giving you their opinions about this, but you're trying to change and get out of that and just get out of your head. You've just had enough here, Aries. You don't want to deal with it anymore. You want to move on. It is time to make the decision, have this huge change that you need and move on. Like you don't want to work on this anymore. You don't want to deal with this anymore. You have had enough um, trying to make this choice. And look, the Ace of Cups is coming in. So although it's been really tough trying to move forward, like he's in, the card is in reverse. So it has not been an easy process for you here, Aries. But you so desperately want this new cycle. You don't want to deal with this shit anymore, basically. You want to get out of your head. Like, you just want to be happy. Um, and this Ace of Cups is coming. So this unlimited opportunity, this new potential. Clarify, oh, the Knight of Rods. The Ten of Pentacles and Temperance. So you could be dealing, could be a Saji coming in here, Aries. Um, or it could be um, an Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. However, so in the near future, you got yourself a Knight. So a Knight of Rods is coming in. He's going to be offering you the world. He's going to come in quick. He's going to come in fast. I'm saying he because it's a he. It could be man or woman. They're going to let you know how they feel. Um, they're going to want that balance. So temperance is all about patience, balance, inner alchemy, kind of balancing not only herself but her outer life, right? Sagittarians are tend to be kind of like, the philosophers they'd like to do that internal work and really dig deep and it looks like this person wants that balance and that happiness they're going to be very passionate very attracted to you here aries and they're going to rush in and give you their cup of love they want not only do they want the world with you but they want this new cycle with you so that past is gone this was a test so the six of swords is representative of not only a test to make to see if you really want what you want, but it also means you're going from rocky waters and you're moving to smooth water, waters. You're not listening to the to the chatter anymore. See how their mouths are closed? You're done. Shut up. I'm moving on. I've passed my test. I'm ready to be abundant. So you were not so you're upside down here. So you're moving from that into smooth waters. You don't want to be single. You don't want to be in your head. You don't want to deal with this anymore. You want to move forward with your life. So something was holding you back and someone's coming in here in the very near future to give you, oh, look at that, the Empress, like a brand new beginning, an abundant brand new beginning could be pregnancy too, means fertility, right? So if you don't want that, just be cautious of that with this new person, um, be cautious of that. But I mean, the a brand new beginning here, Aries, that's what this person's going to be offering to you. So let's see what, first of all, let's go to the Romance Oracles. What do they want to say to you about this person coming through? What do you want to say to Aries about this new person coming in? Okay, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So maybe um, it could be an addiction. Maybe that's what was holding you back. And you finally released that. And once you release that, that's when you draw love in, right? When you heal. So what does Aries have to surrender to, to the self-transformation? Because it's definitely a lot of transformation going on here. And once you do, so what do you have to surrender to? What does Aries have to surrender to? 
to find this new love for this person to enter. Show me the card, please. What does Aries have to surrender to to make this choice to move forward? There it is. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Okay, and what do my cards want to say to you, Aries? Trust in yourself, yes. Trust yourself. Okay, so let's get your oracle cards. What messages do the energy oracles want to say? What advice do you have for Aries, please? What advice do you want to have, do you have for Aries, please? Because especially, too, when this person comes in, you want to be ready, right, Aries? You want to be healed. You want to be ready to move forward. Fifth shocker, Archangel Gabriel. So as always, when one comes out from the Energy Oracle cards, they read from the book. That's how I believe it's meant to be received. So card number 39. What's the message for you? Let's see. Um, so he is sending powerful energy to your throat chakra, chakra, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do this. This angel opens you up to truthful expression within yourself and others. You may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself, so never deny your profound integral, integral value. Speak up for yourself. Write in your journal. Let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully, and the universe always honors your choice to do so. This could indicate that a communication is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirits. But what I'm sensing here is you may have regret not telling people how you feel in the past and you want to change this. Don't hold back from this person because they could be the world. They could be your happy ending. So I hope that you have learned your lesson and are ready to open up and fully communicate how you feel, Aries, to prevent yourself from losing out on someone who, um, who you might really love. So let's find out where the situation ends in a month from now. Well, not ends, but where it stands. Like a month from now, where will Aries be? A month from meeting this person, actually. How do things go? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. We have the Hierophants in reverse. We have the Star. We have the Seven of Cups. One more, please, for Aries. Where is this? In about a month. Oh, there it is. We have the Two of Pentacles. So you've made your choice. You've focused on yourself. So the star, you're the star of your show. This is your life. This is your wish fulfillment. And your fulfillment is to be happy and healed. It's also the card of healing. So you're so sick of not moving forward. You are fed up of not committing, not being, not being happy. So you did your healing and you made the choice. You made the choice to move forward. So you are the star here. Um, how you are with this person, it actually doesn't say. It just says that you've made the choice to do your healing. So if you've made the choice to do your healing, then I'm going to say you're still dealing with this person, but you're not rushing in. So the Hierophant in reverse is also indicative of being single. Same with the star. So you didn't rush in. You're not committing to this person. You're not rushing into this person. You are working on yourself. You've made the choice for that. Um, you want to give us some details and let us know where it is with this person. That's where you are in yourself on your, on your journey. So where is Aries with this ace of cups? Where are they with this person? Um, while they're going through this self transformation here, the four of pentacles and the two of pentacles again, you're still holding on to them. So you haven't let them go. So they're still around. They're still there. Um, can we get one more on that? What is the, cause, uh, the two, one more. Just want to make sure I understand that. Correct. I got two more. Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Aries, you're not with this person. So you rejected this person. You let them go. You made the choice to focus on yourself here. So you're going to heal before you give your cup of love to anybody. Um, yeah, so you, I, I kind of sense you're holding on to them though, but you're not committing to them. You didn't accept their offer. You just, you want to heal and you just want to, Focus on yourself right now and going through this change that you're going through. Um, you didn't want to commit to anybody. But are they still around? Yeah, I still, I still sense them here. So they're still here, but you're not committed to them. Maybe you just asked them to take them slow. Maybe you said, I just want to be friends. But whatever that is or whatever you said, um, 
you are the star and right now you're just focusing on yourself here aries so that's what i have for your love reading let's get your yes or no questions it sounds like you're going through a lot and sometimes it is better to go through that by yourself right whatever this codependency is maybe it's best to do it um we all want love but if we're not healed we're not going to attract love we're going to attract another broken relationship so the answer to your question aries is no so that's what i have for you i hope it resonates until next time.